I can do tortillas with my eyes closed. Uh, I'm so confident now. <laughs> It's easy to tell the difference between a handmade flour tortilla and a packaged tortilla. And a lot of the places we would go and eat at, um, it was recognizably packaged tortillas, which is fine. There's a market for that. Um, you know, businesses will do what they need to do. Um, but that handmade flour tortilla really makes a difference. Welcome to Border Town Tortilleria. My name is Jorge Aguilar, and I'm the chef, owner of Border Town Tortilleria in Brooklyn, New York. Packaged tortilla is not the same thing. It's just uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just not good. <laughs> kind of like, whoom, whoom. Uh, Star Wars. This is my my special tool. Yeah. Border Town is uh, Sonoran style handmade flour tortillas. When I moved to New York City, I was just trying to find flour tortillas, but it's like it was impossible. I couldn't find any good flour tortillas. I tried to go to most of the uh, Spanish areas in uh, Brooklyn, Queens. You know, we eat a lot of food, and we've tried a lot of Mexican food, and we were just not stumbling into any place that was doing flour tortillas. You know, there's a lot of places that are now doing like Nixtamal and the corn tortillas, and that's great. They're doing a great job. They're highlighting a different uh, special region of Mexico. But the flour tortillas need their chance to shine too. My tortillas, I feel like they're special because I get uh, flour directly from Sonora. This one comes from San Luis Rio, Colorado, Sonora. My family, it's from Sonora. Flour tortillas on the north side of Mexico, it's very popular. Do you have a preference? Uh, between corn and flour? I, 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 there's, there's no corn for me. <laughs> Sorry, it's only flour. This is the Sonoran wheat flour. It feels so soft. It's kind of like very silky flour. So, so powdery. So we've been together for over five years um, and he actually took me down uh, to Mexico on one of our first trips together. We crossed over the border into Mexicali just for some tacos. And that's really where I was introduced to uh, this flour tortilla that I right away was pretty much blown away and realized like, wow, I've never had this before. I didn't even know this existed. So I just wanted to make something that I haven't seen here and I know that I could do here. I'm gonna pour the flour. Now we're going with the pork lard. And then what you wanna start doing is uh, getting the uh, pork lard mixed in with the flour. I'm trying to get everything together. And I'm gonna mix the salt into the water so it dilutes. Mm -hmm. So now I, I go into my hand. I'm gonna mix in here and slowly because you don't wanna over water the flour. It's all about getting the right consistency. If I pour the water too fast, it'll be harder actually to mix. Say so like right here, it's like, it's, it's a little too wet. And you know that the dough is ready, like, you know, there's nothing stuck to the, uh, to the bowl. The glue is being developed right now. So if you see, how everything's coming off from the, the bowl. This is when your, your dough is ready. Border Town Tortilla was born during fall of the uh, 2020 pandemic. We saw a lot of other successful businesses start during the pandemic and we were inspired. We were both 
kind of restaurant orphans during the closures. I would come home every day and Jorge would just be pouring over this tortilla recipe, like really trying to nail it down. Now we have a, a dough that is nice and uh, silky. Cover that baby up and just let it rest for, let's say, 30 minutes. So it just took me a long time to just keep doing, going and then going. It was just a consistency thing. It was like, I need to get it done, done, done. This tells me that the dough is ready to portion. So now I'll you know, like divide uh, the dough. The first time that I, I came up with a perfect dough, I felt it and it just, it was so like smooth and so like pliable, flexible. Once again, I just I was so I was so anxious to 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 throw it on the skillet and hopefully it worked. Uh, what I've noticed is like when you put the flour to tea, it rises, like it bubbles, so it gets like it blows up like this. And the tortillas that I've been doing, none of them they were like blowing up. So this one came up and brew, and I was like, ooh, yes. I was like, yes, I got it, <laughs> I got it for the first time. I was like, so and then I, I just keep doing it and doing it, and then, and then from then, it's just like the same thing. So I, I pack a, a cooler in the morning, uh, I packed, I don't know, like 50 tacos or 50 burri mini burritos. So I went end up going to Home Depot's, car washes. Uh, and yeah, I mean, people, they start buying and they love the burritos. And then he'd come back and, you know, he made, you know, like, started small, maybe like 50 bucks, and I'd be like 100 bucks and 150 bucks and, you know, small change, but something that he was creating. He was selling his food and people were buying it. And he had even regular customers. And once uh, we knew that, you know, these tortillas were nowhere else in New York, um, we knew that we might have a potential business on our hands. So that's really where Border Town was born. It gave us an opportunity to actually say, okay, We've worked for a lot of different companies in the past, plenty of different owners, um, got a lot of experience, and knew that we could do this on our own, and that was the ultimate goal. See how elastic, uh, so stretchy it is. It took me a, a while to find a name for myself, for the tortillas, because uh, I was born in Mexico and raised in California, and the town where I was raised, Mexicali, it's actually, it's, it's a border town. We were lucky enough that uh, tortillas happened to fall under uh, an acceptable category for us to get a home manufacturing license, um, which we do have through the city. And so we are able to, you know, legitimately make and sell tortillas out of our home. When I am like close to finish stretching, I'll, I'll turn the, uh, the flat top. So it starts getting hot. So by that time I'm, I'm, I'm finished, the thing it's ready to, go. ready to go and just start banging tortillas into the flat top. My mom is kind of like the person who sends me flour from Mexico. So my dad crosses the flour from Mexicali to Calexico. And then my mom package the flour and then she sends us through the USPS. So I'm gonna flip this one. So that's the flip. Once he started sourcing the flour from Mexicali, it kind of became a little family affair. You know, we live all the way across the country and so it's just that little, um, you know, lifeline to home. I think the most important aspect for him uh, to get the tortilla right was really the texture. Um, you know, his tortilla is super durable and it can handle a lot of fillings, but it's also kind of like translucent enough to see through. This is what I like about my tortillas, that like you can see the other side of the tortilla. 
Uh, well, mine are more, more soft, light. You know, almost has like that powdery residue on top that you know the flour is, is fresh and the pork lard adds another element. It gives the tortilla uh, that stretch. Uh, it allows you to roll it out super thin. Tortilla making really is a labor of love, especially for Jorge. It makes you happy. It makes me happy, yeah. After it's done, you put it on like a, a towel. So the same steam, finish cooking the tortilla and it's like, it gives it another texture. Our tortillas are made every single day. So if you place an order, um, we'll never give you a same day order because they are prepared uh, the day of your delivery. So the earliest your order could be made is for the next day and it's guaranteed your tortillas are made fresh that morning. As soon as the tortillas are done, we package them up and we hit the road and we go deliver them ourselves. And you know, nine times out of 10, our clients are getting warm tortillas to them. And they'll remark like, oh my God, the bag is still warm. And we're like, yeah, we, we just made them, literally. I think some of the best feedback we get is um, people DMing us that, oh my God, these tortillas taste like my grandmother. These tortillas remind me of LA. They remind me of Mexico. So I think there's been a big reaction. People are seeking out good Mexican food. And I think it's giving um, all of us an opportunity to kind of showcase regional styles of Mexico. My dream is to have my own restaurant one day. Have it uh, focus on my tortilla and the northern part of Mexico. Yeah, you know how they say like pizza in New York, like there's something in the water. It's like with us, it's like there's something in the flour. That almost feels like the end of like, the video. <laughs> like if I had to pick a quote. Yeah. You like that, babe? That's my, my favorite thing to do is like at the end of the, the cooking thing, I like, I'm like, 